Hey everyone, and welcome to this promo video for something a little different. Contrary to popular belief, I don't only have hardcore Iron Man accounts. I do also have a main. And for the first video on this channel featuring my main, I decided to go big with a 24 hour money making challenge. 24 hour money making challenges have been done in the past, but this is a whole new ball game. There's not just two of us competing, there's four of us. And this isn't two against two, this is all against all, no holds barred, 24 hours to make the most money as possible in any way you can. Let's go and meet the competition. First up, we have Imagine Archery. He's a very good all-round PVMer who took me on my first complete run of Elite Dungeon 3. His knowledge of DPS rotations and generally good ability to execute makes him a formidable opponent. Despite his generally good execution, he does specialise in a poorly timed berserk, which has previously led him to a meeting in Death's office. A few too many of them could cost him. Next, we have Tucker, probably the best PVMer out of the four of us. He has a lot of experience at most bosses in the game, his 32,000 kill count at Legios should tell you everything you need to know about his commitment to the grind and his PVM prowess. However, with such skill could come some overconfidence, as he readily admits that he has no plan. Then there's me, a solid PVMer at the bosses I'm familiar with, I hope that my consistent kills will keep me out of death's office and save me some money there. I'm also banking on my game knowledge beyond the usual PVM scenarios to help give an extra push to my cash stack. On the other hand, there are some very good GP bosses which I'm less experienced with and a lack of tier 92 weapons will result in slower kill times and a reliance on a little more RNG. Finally, we have YouTuber and streamer Brillimister. Seen here rocking his Eldritch crossbow, he has a good amount of PVM experience behind him. Historically, his RNG has been phenomenal and he'll be hoping that that continues throughout this challenge. He also claims to have a secret winning strategy which none of us can know about. However, his fondness for those armadol boots seems to be one chink in his armour, literally. He's also no stranger to death's offers, claiming that he single-handedly keeps the onyx market afloat. Now, let's take a look at the rules for this challenge. Before we start, our current money pouches and loot tabs that may interfere with the challenge are wiped. It's a solo only challenge, so that means any activity that can be done solo is fair game, but none that involve multiple players. We're free to use our current gear, including aura resets and potions. The 24 hours can be split however we want. I know that Brilly plans to do 4 6 hour streams over the next few weeks, but it could be 6 4 hour blocks or any combination that comes to 24 hours, and we'll keep our timer going. Partially completed items do have some value. A spider leg piece on its own is worth 47 million, each scrap at the Manchester is worth 1 million, a Telos orb is worth 325 million, and an Ascension signet is worth 15 million. For bosses which require a tradable item to enter, such as a key to the crossing for the Manchester, the key must be bought with money coming out of your 24 hour pouch. The challenge ends at 24 hours, and when I say that it ends then, that means that the money in your pouch, plus untradables at the end of the 24 hours, is your result. If you've tried to sell everything in the last 10 minutes, and you've still got stuff selling when the 24 hours elapses, then those items are lost. The winner is the player with the most money in their money pouch, plus untradables in their inventory at the end of the time, and the winner will get all the money made by everyone else. I'm going to be giving away a bond at the end of this challenge as well, in the comments, I want you to comment how much GP you think the final pot will be. That's the sum of everyone's 24 hours. The closest to the correct amount will win the bond. Brilly is also doing a giveaway connected to this challenge, and I'll leave a link to his promo video so you can see how to enter his down in the description. I'm really looking forward to filming this challenge, and probably streaming my perspective. I'll leave my Twitch in the description too, so that you can follow my progress in this challenge over the coming weeks. Good luck to the other three competing in this challenge, and may the best man win.